Uh, morning. Yes. I uh, called earlier to report a stolen runabout. Um, they told me to come down here. I guess you could say I'm here to give you the runaround on my runabout. <laughs> What's the story with this job? Somebody's cracked a safe in a yacht. Yeah, I think he took the whole bloody thing from what Mick says. Ah, here we go again. Every day like clockwork. Pin up boy wanker. Hey, come on, give him a break. He's all right. What do you mean? If he hadn't popped up out of nowhere, you could be sitting in the D's office right now. Yeah, well, I'm not, all right? Donna. What's going on? I have got so much work to do. Yeah, we're just having a chat. Yeah. Oh, la, 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 la. Must be a cold shower. not done with much finesse, is it? <laughs> it's not exactly your old-fashioned safe cracker. I couldn't believe they actually walked off with it. Thank God I'm insured. How big was the safe? Uh, about... Yeah. It was heavy, too. Do you think you've got much of a chance of getting it back? Uh, what was in it? Well, about 20,000 cash. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of money. You sure about that? Yes. I buy boats to resell. A cash deposit is often effective leverage. To add insult to injury, it was this. <clears throat> I'm sorry for this. I bet you are too. Please accept this note as an IOU. Wow, he's a poet. Hi, George. Hey, Donna. Did you enjoy your run this morning? Yeah, got to get that oxygen hit, you know? Yeah, it really sets up our day. I mean, your day. Donna, those stats my report, please. Oh, that's a flash suit. Oh, you looked the part anyway. Thanks, Jack. It's Italian. And uh, I'm here to work, not play a part. Pizza's about the limit of my Italian. But you wouldn't want to get something like that dirty, would you? Might leave you on the paperwork today. Could be an insurance job. Maybe she's got someone to do it. Maybe. She was pretty keen to get a claim in. You ever heard of an MO like this before? 
Some story of Jack's about a bloke who used to steal safes. All right, that one, the one that comes out after about the third or fourth beer. Yeah, Farmer Bruce, yeah, that's him, uh, that's his go. He used to leave IOUs at the scene. They're not hungry. How long ago was this, Jack? Oh, I don't know, it'll be uh, ten years, I suppose. Yeah, Bruce Arbison, he's a silly old bugger. Old? How old would he be now? <laughs> yeah, Christy. Yes, Helen. Yeah, I'm aware the annual report is due today. Yeah, look, I should get onto it this afternoon. Look, I'm sorry, but should's the best I can do, OK? Jack, Farmer Bruce. Ah, oh, yeah, um, OK, his sheep were going bad, right? So he started knocking off safes. He's a real messy bugger. He used to crowbar them out of the wall. When we got to the farm, he had, you know, it's safes piled up in the water tanks. And... Now, you said old. How old would he be now? Oh, I don't know. He'd be, um... I don't know, 70, I suppose. And he used to leave IOUs? Yeah, rhyming ones, but... Well, I mean, it's probably worth a look, but, you know, I just can't see a 70-year-old lifting all these heavy safes, Jack. OK, maybe we should check out his cellmates, you know? Donna, where's Alex? Um, getting you to a coffee last time I saw her. Well, can you tell her to get in here, please? We've got to get Bruce Harvinson's details. Got to get his address, cellmates, release dates, any known associates, if there's any. I mean, I've got two hands and one bloody modem. OK, I'll tell her you're having a panic attack. Yeah, Riley. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, listen, I need to run a check on a visitor's list for an ex-prisoner. Uh, Arvidsson. Bruce Arvidsson? Arvidsson. Is it something we said? Oh, Helen. That sounds suspiciously hearty. What is it? No, look, small favour. You know the annual waterfront report? Yes, the ministerial report, and I can tell you they're getting very anxious about it. Yeah, well, you'd be right across it, wouldn't you? I mean, you'd be in the intelligence officer for all these years. So... No can do, Jack. What? Look, I know what you're angling for. You want me to do it, and I can't. That report has to be done by the commanding officer, which is you. And while I'm here, the uniform? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've ordered it. Right, I'm just waiting on a little the epaulets. It's all. Jack, I know you don't want to wear the uniform, but really it sets a very bad impression. No, it's not right. It's not right. It's, it's a stride. It's, you know, no matter what size I try, just ride right up my clacker. Right. Thank you for sharing that with me, Jack. Bruce Arbison died about six years ago. He had nine cellmates. Moved around a lot. Looks like I've got a long list to go through. Check this out. What have we got here? Actual crime, real life accounts of genuine crimes and how the crooks were caught. Um, so you read a bit of this, do you, George? Yep, that's telling me everything I know. All right. Have a look at page 30. What, you've been out buying magazines? We're tramping, actually, mate. That's a back issue. Uh, Farmer Bruce, the cocky who went from shearing shed to jail yard. I remember my brother laughing about it. How's that supposed to help us, George? Well, I reckon whoever did the safe read that magazine. And we know that for sure, do we? Well, Alex? Um, I'm sorry about this. I'll bet you are too. Please accept this note as an IOU. So it's a copycat? Exactly the same MO. Well, that's great. Just a minute ago, I had 20 known associates. Now I've got 30,000 idiots that read the magazine. Plus your known associates? Well, maybe you could follow it up for us, George. A little time. Thanks. Um, yeah, while, while we... Um... While we get back to basics, you know, actual clues, actual crime scene. Maybe the fingerprints are out there too. So they dragged the safe along the deck here. Yeah, nice and heavy to drag, huh? Then they ran into trouble when they were trying to lower it into their boat. Look at the marks on the side. Right, you reckon it went in the drink? Well, it's worth a look. Yeah, let's get the divers here. Okay, so we're at the final antenatal class, right? They showed out this video called From Here to Paternity. <laughs> right. <laughs> But they showed us how to do this crouching test, right, where you work out your pain threshold. Yeah, right, that's enough. Thanks, Gav. I don't want to hear any more about this for the next ten years. Alex. Uh -huh. right. Yes, Woodsy. Look, I can't see anything in the immediate vicinity. OK, can you try a wider pattern, you know, like 50 metres or so? Copy that. Thanks. Then they bring out this rubber pelvis that works out how far you can stretch the pelvis, right? It goes right out here.
Ness. It's Jeff. How are you? How's yeah, Sonny on Newcastle going? Good, good. Flat out today. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Got everything I need. Well, you know, everything except you, of course. So, um, what's the story? You gonna come down tonight? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna finish till late, and a two-hour drive's the last thing I feel like doing, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's right. Um, well... Tomorrow? I'll try. What time do you reckon? I couldn't say for certain, but... I'll call you when I know what I'm doing? Yep. No worries. OK. I love you, Ness. OK. Bye. Bye. Morning, Sergeant. Change your mind. What about? G'day, Jack. How's it going? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's good. Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's bloody fantastic. What can I do for you, mate? Oh, Jeff, it's about the, the report to the minister. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, mate, go. This thing makes a ton, mate. Pull oh, them. Oh, easy, 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 easy. easy. Whoa, whoa. Hang on. Sinclair. Uh, hi, Helen. I've got an owner for your sunken boat. Yeah, guy came in this morning to report it stolen. His name is Mr. Peter. Look, this is um, this is Polish. I can't pronounce it. It's Peter W Y C Z N E C I C A. Oh wow, that, that's a mouthful. Yeah, you got an address there. Yeah. Listen, any chance of getting George out here to help? No, no. Jack wants him to do the uh, paperwork from yesterday. Minor stuff. Yeah, well, he's the boss. See what you can do. Okay, bye. Hey, hey, hey Vanessa, how you going? Um, oh. Not good. I need to talk to you about Jeff. Sit down. Um. Well, he's your friend, and I thought. <laughs> oh, Helen. Uh, just say Nechitsa and then make a sound before it like you're getting punched in the guts. Uch Nechitsa! <laughs> Can I get you a cup of tea? Oh, no, 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 thank you. Um, Mr. N N N oh. Pete, just call me Pete. Sister. Pete, do you want to run us through what happened when your uh, tinny was stolen? Um, well, I'd um, taken Duncan, that's the young fella, mm. um, taken him fishing and we were just, you know, we were down on the beach digging for worms. Mm. And you'd left the boat where? Uh, behind the car, uh, on the trailer. So, out of your sight? No. Well... Oh, well, <laughs> no, not really. Well, you know, we were, we were pretty absorbed in, in, in the worms, yeah, get, getting a wriggle on. <laughs> And you noticed the boat missing when? Uh, my son, he, he noticed it first. <laughs> He's six. He notices everything. He's a clever little boy. Yeah, I'm sure. And, uh, and, and we went to investigate, and, um, and then I noticed that the car, it, it was backed up to the water and the boat was gone. Guess some worm must have taken it, eh? <clears throat> so someone started your car, backed it up to the water, launched a tinny, and you didn't even notice? No. No, well, no, I guess not, no. And you just left the keys in the car? Yeah. What, why, didn't think anyone was around. So why didn't they take the car and why didn't they take the trailer? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I can't work it out either. Um, but I reported it as soon as I got back. He's a woeful liar, Alex. Oh, absolutely. So what do you think, uh, get a warrant, come back, see if he's kept that jemmy and uh, rope and stuff? Yeah. I reckon that's a good idea. He'd be stupid enough to keep the gear. You know, Vanessa is a soon-to-be ex-policeman and using my deductive skills, I've come to the conclusion that nobody makes it down from Newcastle in an hour and ten minutes. What's the story? We need to talk. Sure. What about... Oh, this looks good. Uh, mm, uh, um... About us. About... What does he want? I don't know. 
Jack. Great. Oh, Vanessa, listen, uh, sorry for interrupting. Uh, Jeff, I, I just need to talk. It's, it's pretty important. Well, you are interrupting, Jack. I, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I can't wait. It's, it's pretty critical. Oh, I got myself in a bit of a bind. Well, if it's a crisis... No, it's not a crisis. I, no, 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 I can come back down tomorrow. It's all right. Don't worry about it, Vanessa. It'll be fine. I can. Give me a minute. I will. See ya. Taking Jack to the theatre, I hear. Yes, <laughs> it should be a shock to the system. <laughs> oh, does that mean you're still here for the gorgeous George show tomorrow morning? Oh, I don't know. That's pretty early. Oh, come on, this is an experience one would pay big bucks for. Why he does free facials? Two words, so the body. What body? Jealousy. So he just can't handle the fact that there's another guy out there who spends more time with his shirt off than he does. He's a show pony. Is he stealing your spotlight, man? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mate. George is a stylish young guy who spent time and money looking after himself. What is wrong with that? Well, you're starting to sound like them. Are you keen on him? How many beers you had, Gab? Give it a rest, mate. Hey, you know, I read in that journal that Aggie Fatsias, he got a promotion. Yeah? Yeah. Scored a gig in organised crime. Cream floats, huh? So does a lot of other stuff. <sighs> Doesn't work. Mate, don't be stupid, all right? Put the gun down! Ah, oh, well, boy. You always were a bit on the soft side. Unbelievably, the inept fellowman tried to make it to shore with the safe, but only got 50 metres before his boat sank. City schmooze bets the water police still haven't stopped laughing. <laughs> Imagine that, committing a crime and having everyone laugh at you. Might help flush him out. I doubt it. Come on, Soph. Oh, I can't believe I got up at this hour to perv on some guy I don't even know. It is not called perving. It is called artistic appreciation. Yeah, two minutes, Soph, and all your doubts will be put to rest. <laughs> oh, my God. What? No, Jack's going to kill me if he sees me. Morning. 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 Lovely day. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. What have you got there? Uh, this is the crime scene report on the boat. Oh, listen, have we uh, spoken to the, the owner of the recovered safe yet? Yeah, Mick has. Um, she's not exactly doing somersaults. Now, we think she she's trying to pull a swifty, you know, up, up, the, up the contents right. for insurance. Uh, well, she's not, not compelled to open the safe. We'll never know if she was lying or not. I'll have to do this. Good up. Fantastic day. Mm. Yes. Mm. Gone. Hey. Okay. Oh, please, Alex, please, please. Oh, go, 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 go. Come on. Yeah, Sydney Water Police. Oh, where are you going? No, it's not worth the grief, oh. Jackson. Oh, yeah, um, listen, my name's Alex St. Clair. I'm looking after that matter. A safe, really. Yeah. You know, George, this MO is exactly the same as the first robbery. I mean, the safe's been ripped out of the wall. There's poetry. Right. You know what? I think uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. I'm pronounced more name. What is that name? What is that name? Vishna Chitsa. You're good at that. I reckon he's been busy. Sure. Think? Sure. How long? Yeah, five more minutes. So what have you got? OK, well, the safe's gone. We've got another IOU. Hey, listen, uh, the owner's a little antsy, you know, refuses to tell us what was in the safe. Yeah, George is talking to him now. Oh, that'll help. Hey, 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 be nice. I've got another IOU as well. It was found on a speedboat that was stolen last night and it was returned early this morning. I'll pay you back for the gasoline news. Please accept this note as an IOU. The palms are getting worse. So what, you reckon you got the safe to shore this time? Yeah, it looks like it. Look, they've all been done on one of those old typewriters. Mm. Managed to pull any prints? No, not yet. And no safe this time. Um, looks like someone's getting better at this. Yeah. Uh, Alex is on her way back. They turned down your warrant for Peter Fitchner, fish and chips, you know, yeah. that guy. Insufficient oh, grounds. Bloody magistrates. Thanks, Donna. Look, I can have a sniff around if you want. Check out his background if you want. Yeah, you can't hurt George. Yeah. Thanks. Where's he going? Yeah, look, see, this, this is media interest, right? They're going to be all over us when they realise that the third safe's gone missing. What do you mean, third? We just got back from the second. It just came in, right? Same MO, except this time they nearly killed a security guard. Well, this job's a lot neater. Yeah, except for the litre of blood. Uh, what you got there? Look. Oh, all right, nice and unreadable. 
What did the marina manager have to say? Uh, he said, OK, the guard's name is Colin Seymour. He works alternate shifts with his flatmate, Russ Lambert, and they were both employed to mine the, mine the boat. What about the owner? Uh, he's an antique dealer. He's uh, away overseas for a week. It'd be nice to go to seas for a week, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Well, you can have the next best thing. A beautiful trip to downtown Botany, Orion Street. Is that where the guards are? No, it's where Lambert works during the day. Colin's in hospital, eh? Rude of boot. So you're both licensed security guards, are you, Mr Lambert? Nah. Do a bit of work for this bloke. Maintenance and a security gig. OK, now the current contents of the safe. Do you have any idea what's in there? Not exactly. Guy was uh, into antiques. You know, it would be a pretty big payday for somebody who took it, though. Right. And you and Colin, you work regular shifts? Yeah. Two nights on, two nights off, from ten till morning. I know. So, um, have you noticed anybody observing your movements, like you did this schedule? No. Nah. So you and Colin are good mates, are you, Mr Lambert? Yeah, we're flatmates. What do you reckon? What do I reckon? Well, Colin's in hospital, he's unconscious, and you don't seem too worried about it, mate. That's what I reckon. He's got a hard head. Where'd you say he was? Where are they? What? Come on, I rang supplies yesterday. They said they sent them. Helen, they're, they're, look, they're just this tiny, tiny little epaulets. I don't know, maybe they got lost in the mail. Perhaps you should have asked Jeff if you could borrow his since you were around there yesterday picking his brains. Is this the ministerial report? Listen, that's not finished. It's not finished Isn't yet. Isn't it? No. I knew it, epaulets. Huh? I wonder how they got there. The uniform fairy. Helen, look, Helen, I just haven't got time to mess around looking for bits of a uniform. Hey, have you arrested anyone yet? Look, it would help if I had a warrant. Oh, right, the prodigal son. What have you been doing? Digging up stuff on our suspect. Oh, nice. Good, oh, good day. Hey, George. Hey. How'd you go? Good. Vishnu Chits has had two failed businesses. Huh? He's currently broke. Been bankrupt once before and in danger of losing his house. Well, that's that's plenty of motive. Mm -hmm. This is what I was trying to give you. Oh. Might help. Fantastic. Thank you. Hey, look at this. Phone record. Looks like Pete's been telling us porky pies. He also hired a thermal lance yesterday. Oh, yeah. That'll cut through anything. Yep. One warrant coming up. It is done here at the moment. When your husband made that call to report his boat no, missing. I don't understand Pete. why you're searching for him. Hey, he he he's been lying to me. He's been lying to me. Pete! Peter! No, please don't take him. You've got to save him then. Please take him. He's never done anything wrong. Please leave him alone. Come on, mate, there's no need to do anything stupid. We just want to have a chicken. We just want to have a chicken. What do you do with this? Hey, put it down from me. Mr. Whitson, Chitson, whatever the hell your name is. Well done, Georgie. Oh, so this is the safe you stole from the cruiser last night, is it, Pete? You do know the guard's still in hospital, don't you? What guard? No, no, he's never heard anybody uh, ever. Right, we're taking that typewriter and the safe in for Hey, Alex, hey, Alex. Yeah. Oh. This is from the second safe. Oh. No wonder the Blake didn't want to know what was in it. Nice leather jock strap. Oh, little oh, what dog. Look, it was a yacht. I never went near any cruiser. I never heard okay, anybody. Okay. I'm Mr. Never... Chitzer, I'm placing you under arrest. Oh, I have to get arrested for something in the name room. You do say or do can be held against you. I just love him. No questions are. <laughs> There's no easy way to say this. I have to... No. I want to end our relationship. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... I've been agonising whether to hold this off until you were completely recovered, but I decided that wouldn't be fair to either of us. You must have known there was something. Just somebody wrong. else. Just somebody else. No. Just somebody younger. No, no. Vanessa, just, just tell me the truth. That's all I want. Yeah, well, I've come all the way down here twice to do just that. This is the truth. I don't see that at all. I mean, it's just got something to do with my retirement. This no. Is, this is because I can't go there with you. Where? I want to be somebody. You want a potter? <laughs> I'm still the same person, you know. I mean, it's just, I'm just. No. 
I'm still the same person. You're not the man I fell in love with anymore. Vanessa, I have put a lot into this. I mean, I... I'm... I'm going to throw in my job. I'm going to throw in my job because I believe that what we have something we can do together, you know? It's not like... It's... Jeff, I'm going I'm to go and... We'll talk once you've cooled down, OK? I'll explain later. <laughs> Please don't go. I'm sorry. You're a young man. And you're throwing away your career. <laughs> I don't get it. Are you saying to me that because I'm going to throw my uniform away, does that mean that you're going to piss me off? I'm sorry. These are pretty serious charges. Stealing and assault police, yeah. I understand, it's not hard. I'm my parts. <laughs> Might be better driving into a tree, at least Angie get the insurance. No, oh, don't say that. Does she have to be charged as an accessory? I'm afraid so. But the courts can be pretty understanding. Not like creditors, eh? Hey, you know why my business failed? No one could find my name in the phone book. <laughs> I just finished right, this whole report on uh, what a great job we did on the safe thefts. And now you're telling me we haven't solved the last one. Well, George says it couldn't have been Paul because he's got an alibi. No, because he was committing the other crime at the time. Yeah, that's great. He confessed to the first two, Jack. Yeah, but the IOU uh, with the security bashing is different. Forensics say that it wasn't typed like Pete's were, so... Yeah, they used a laser printer and the wording was completely different. OK, so who bashed the security guard? Well, somebody who was reading the newspaper. Right. I'm going to have to change this whole thing. Do we know what was in the last scene? Oh, well, Helen caught up with the cruiser owner and he says that there were six rare ornamental gold elephants from Thailand in there. Worth about 200 grand. OK, so we know that the security guard was lying here. So after they ripped the safe out, they needed to get it past the security guard. And this, this is a good size safe, right? So why are there no drag marks? I mean, at least through the blood and no footprints, nothing. Well, maybe the safe was taken before the security guard was hit. Which means this is a crock of shit. It's the truth. No, no. You see, I think you and Russ set this whole thing up, right? Now, you helped him get the safe off the boat and then he hit you, right? Except the only thing is he hit you too hard, almost killed you. Think about it, Colin. You're lucky you don't have brain damage. I'm saying nothing. Well, Russ won't know. What do you mean? He knows I won't put him in. Right, so you admit there's something to put him in about. You don't want to wear this on your own, do you, Colin? First offence, crime of opportunity. You helped us with our inquiries. Doesn't have to be that bad, mate. He nearly killed you. Why don't you listen to what you're saying? He hit me too hard. Right. Where's his safe? His girl's place. A boat shed in Canada Bay. Detective Sinclair will stay with you. Whereabouts in Canada Bay is this boat shed? VKG Portable 1 to Harpy. It's the police launch Harpy, go ahead. Yeah, Gav, how long are you and Matt gonna be? <laughs> two minutes. Yeah, we should be able to make it in two minutes. <laughs> two ladies seen me, I'm gonna have to go in by myself. Move your ass. Can't be clear. Good afternoon, Russell. Is it? Detective Michael Riley, Sydney Water Police. You remember me, mate? Yeah, the girl's got a nice place here. Oh, I was just visiting your flatmate, Colin, in the hospital. He's got quite a headache. Just you and me, is it? Empty, eh, Russ? 
What, those little gold elephants go for a little walk, did they? Look, those things are worth a lot of money. Why don't you and me fix it up right now, huh? This is Portable One. Alert all available units. Copy that, Mick. Head north from where you are. Copy that. For your brother-in-law, you're in the game. Get the car, mate. Give it right. What are you doing, mate? I'm making an arrest. What do you think? No, you're not. This has got nothing to do with you, mate. Come on, what boy? What are you doing? Just pull that stick out of your ass, I think. Stay in the seat. That's and a good result. Little son of a man. What's the matter with you? We need to stick it at a vista chitters, did we? We have to charge them on the basis of what they did. We're the police. We're not a benevolent society. So why don't you just tell us where the elephants are? Fair crack at a whip, Mick. It's a bit over the top, isn't it? OK, just tell us who the fence is. Yeah, right. Yeah, right what? Holding that on you, is he? If you want to know who the fence is, ask him. What, what are you talking about? I gave the goods to Detective Riley. Now, don't play dumb, Mick. The deal was, he gets the elephants, I get the wool. Now, when do I get out of here? Then why the hell did you go and see this clown on your own? Well, I left Alex at the hospital to look after Seymour so he wouldn't warn Russ, and George is doing all your bloody paperwork, Jack. You should have taken one of the boat crew. Well, I arranged to meet them there, but then he saw me. You know what it's like, Jack. Random options, mate. Aggie, if I need your help, I'll bloody ask for it, OK, mate? Now, listen, you need all the help you can get. The bottom line is you stuffed up. And how the hell did you get involved anyway? It's in the area. You got the call. 
Russell's making a nuisance of himself, OK? Look, I'll take care of it. No, mate. Listen, it'll be me, right? I'll look after it. Because by the end of the day, I A are going to be up me ringing a bell. You can't call on the toe cutters every time this happens, mate. You're spinning a story, this bloke. Oh, thanks for your advice, Aggie. Now, I want a full written report to me and Helen in an hour, right? And while you do that, I'll get gorgeous George and Alex to see if they can talk some sense into this idiot. Why would you run away from Detective Riley if you'd cut a deal with him? Why would he bother to arrest you? Time's up. Discharge him. Yeah, yeah. I took off because he changed his bloody tune about the elephants. Said he was going to fit me up anyhow. Then a mutt on the boat turned up. OK, Russ, you admit to uh, stealing the safe, right? And making the job look like the one you saw in the paper. We, we, we got that, right? I admit to nothing. But you're accusing Detective Riley of being in with you. If you didn't steal this safe, where's this accusation come from, Einstein? It was Colin. He saw it in the paper. It was a spur of the moment thing. Right, so you didn't think this out too well then? No. I didn't work it out well enough, that's for bloody sure. Never thought I'd be ripped off by a rotten copper, neither. It was awful. Oh, God, I've never seen him like that. How did you think he was going to react, Vanessa? <sighs> Nick, not... No. It's OK. You need to get it. I'm well, sorry, Vanessa. I just need you to sign this report. Hey, Chief, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just popped in to see how Jack was doing, you know. Phone call for you. A guy he wouldn't give his name gave me this address. Something about elephants. Okay, thanks, Donna. This time, take someone with you, Mick. Sure. Alex. Alex. Huh? Over here. What you got? Three people who could have known where those elephants were. You, your mate Russ, who was with us, and the person who bled all over that place. Piss off, will ya? What about your bloody mate? I gave him the address. My mate? A police officer? How do I know? He'd said that he was. He had a suit and a gun, stuck it in me face. He said he was your mate. He said he wanted to know who the fence was. I don't know why he's so upset, Nick. You got your ornaments, turn them in. Guy's obviously bullshitting you, right? He doesn't have a leg to stand on, mate. Sweet ass. So what's your problem, Mick? I don't see one. I know you're at the hospital, Eggie. And I'm guessing that something very bad has happened to that fence. But I want to steady on there, Mick. There's blood all over the place. What did you do to him, Eggie? Come on, Wog Boy. You don't want to go oh, there. Oh, it's Wog Boy. Old mate stuff. It's all bullshit! You set me up. You killed the fence, and now you're gonna drop me in it. You're afraid of me, Aggie? You're afraid I'm gonna turn on you, mate? You want me in your pocket? That's what this is all about! Me. You might wanna ask for me, mate! I've done everything I can to help you. Everything I bloody can. I don't need your help! 
Whatever you've done, mate, you're gonna pay for. It's got nothing to do with me. You're on your own. Listen, Jeff, thanks for coming in today. I, I, I wouldn't have got that report off without you. That's all right. Wasn't doing much at home. Listen, can I ask you something? It's a bit personal, so if you don't want to answer, then, then that's OK. You know those uniform pants of yours? Do you find that they ride up, you know, up your ass a bit? He's paid up. <laughs> 